Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm quite excited to bring you this brand new model called as Monkey LLM or LMM. This is a vision model through which you can do VQA or visual question answering with your images. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it. Before I show you the installation and a bit more about this Monkey LMM, let me give a huge thank you to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and also a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, coming back to this Monkey LMM. Monkey brings a training efficient approach to effectively improve the input resolution capacity up to 896 into 1344 pixel without pre-training from the start and this is not small feat. To bridge the gap between simple text labels and high input resolution, they have proposed a multi-level description generation method which automatically provides rich information that can guide the model to learn the contextual association between scenes and objects. With the synergy of these two designs, their model achieved excellent results on multiple benchmarks. By comparing their models with various LMMs, including GPT-4 Vision, their model has demonstrated promising performance in image captioning by paying attention to textual information and capturing fine details within the images. Its improved input resolution also enables remarkable performance in document images with dense text. There are a lot of good features around this monkey LMM such as contextual association. Uh, for example, it has superior ability to infer the relationship between targets more effectively when answering questions which results in delivering more comprehensive and insightful results. And all in all, it has got an enhanced general performance because it has been tested across 16 diverse data sets which has led to impressive performance by their model in tasks such as VQA, captioning, text centering, VQA and document oriented visual question answering. So that's a quick overview of this model and it also backed by a good paper and you can read it through this github repo and i will drop the link to it in video's description okay enough said and done now let me take you to my local system where we are going to install it and then we'll see how it works and i will be doing this installation in my jupyter notebook so let's set it up so you can see that i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 48 gb vram which is nvidia rtx a6000 let me clear the screen let me create a Conda virtual environment to keep everything separate and step into that environment. I'm just calling it monkey with Python 3.11. Let's wait for it to finish. That is all done. Let's create a, re uh, a requirement file first. I'm just going to clear it. I'm just going to create a file called as monkey. I will go into that monkey and then I'm just going to create a file called as requirements.txt. And then I'm just going to put in all the requirements here. I could use individual pips, but I think it will be faster to just simply put all of these requirements here and then simply do pip install dash r and then requirements.txt. Let's wait for all of these requirements and prerequisites to get installed. And then we will then install our Conda environment and then use uh, sorry jupyter notebook and then we will launch it in browser to proceed further so let's wait for it everything to get installed okay all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and now let's install our jupyter notebook so i'm just installing the jupyter notebook with conda and then these commands are just going to launch it in our browser let's wait for it to get launched our jupyter notebook is initialized let's Click on file, new and notebook. Let's wait for it to load. There you go. Let's import these libraries and then I'm going to download the model, which is um, this monkey chat one. And then we are going to do the inference. There is also a base model, but I'm just going to go with this monkey chat one. Let me download the model and the tokenizer. And it is being downloaded. So let's wait for it to get finished and we can ignore these warnings for now. 
and the size is around 19.4 gig so make sure that you have that much space on your system let's wait for it to finish downloading the model model is loaded now let's do the inference let me paste the whole code here so what we are doing here we are just specifying the path to our image through which we want to chat and then this is just my prompt here you can ask it to caption it or whatever you want to ask and then this is a prompt template and it uses the same template for both visual question answering and detailed caption and then we are using tokenizer to tokenize our text here and then we are passing it as an input to the model with some of the hyper parameters and then we are returning the response by decoding it through tokenizer and then printing it out so let me run it and by the way this 4a.gpg this is hosted on my local system in the image looks like something this where we have this setting sun or rising sun and then um, a few kangaroos and birds and tree so let me run it here and there you go so look at the response of the image the image captured a serene moment moment in the australian outback love it because this could be anywhere but because of kangaroos and kangaroos are only found in australia so it has said Australian Outback. Dominating the scene is a large round sun. It's vibrant orange hue contrasting with the deep red of the sky. The sun is positioned centrally, casting a warm glow over the entire image. And then on the right side of image, a group of kangaroos can be seen. They're in motion. Yes. They're, let me show you again. Yep, they're in the motion. And then because they are in the air, sort of. Okay. And then on the left hand side of the image, a lone tree stands tall. Its branches are bare, suggesting it might be in the midst of a season change. Above the tree, a flock of birds can be seen flying in V formation. Amazing stuff. Their black still hoot against the orange sky. The overall scene is one of tranquility and natural beauty with each element. Great stuff. Okay, let's try out another image. And now I am going to give it this image where there are two people standing toward looking at the mountains let's see what model does so i've just given the name of the image let me run it and then let's wait for it to model to come back so it's very quick it says two women are standing in a field of flowers you see model was able to detect whether they uh, are male or female so how correctly and surprisingly uh, even with the short hair of the women in white uh, coat or shirt it was able to detect and then it says that one woman is wearing a white shirt and black pants while the other is wearing a blue shirt and black pants they are both looking at the mountains in the distance the woman on the left left is wearing a gray hat the mountains are covered in snow and there's a blue sky above them cool stuff okay now let's check out the captioning uh, detailed captioning so for that let's select one of the images Maybe I'm just going to go with this Komodo dragon. So I'm just going to ask it about this to uh, detail caption it. Okay, so let me go back here and change the image path. So now I am asking it to give me detailed caption of the image. And just to show you the image again, this is a Komodo dragon and look at the caption. In this image, we see a large lizard with a long tail and a long tongue. The lizard is standing on its hind legs and appears to be in a defensive stance. Its head is turned to the side and its eyes are open. The background is a mix of green and brown with some blurry trees visible. The lizard's position is posture suggests that it is alert and ready to defend. Okay, what about if I just say it give caption to the image? Does it go into the detail and describes it or what happens? Amazing. A large lizard with a long tongue is standing in the grass. Very good caption. And what if I just say give one word caption to the image? Lizard. Okay, that's good. Or what about short? Let's see. You can create your label data set with it. Yep, that is totally correct. And now let's try to see how good this model is when it comes to OCR. So I believe I already have an OCR image 
yep there you go so let's do the ocr of this image so i'm just going to change the path here and now i have given it the image and i'm asking it what's written in this image and it has come back that the quick brown fox so you see quick brown are fine but fox is simply you know, because that is parenthesis jumps it again and can i ask it to do all of it but um try to read the whole image let's see if it is able to read the whole image or not max new tokens is 512 should be able to give me something there you go so now it says the quick brown fox jumps and then over dollar sign is there lazy is there hash 90 and duck goose um, I also have some French, German, other uh, non-English ones, which it has done quite well. A few mistakes, but all in all, really good stuff. So I'm quite happy with it. So that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it. I will drop the link to its repo um, in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.